is the day that nobody really looks forward to. But it's time. Uh, we are going to be butchering our extra roosters tomorrow morning. Kids have been taking it kind of hard. I mean, it's never easy to take an animal's life, but uh, it's time. And that was one of the reasons we came up here is to have our own meat. We haven't done any meat birds yet, just egg layers. But when we bought the egg layers, we wanted to get a couple roosters so we could pick out our best rooster and butcher the rest and i believe they're like 21 22 weeks old now so it is time it's chaos in there there's too many roosters not enough hens and so we're gonna do that i've set up a little shelter tonight um you gotta withhold food it just makes the butchering a lot easier so they're gonna have their own shelter tonight um wake up good and early tomorrow and uh work on butcher them. I've never butchered anything before, so it'll be a learning experience. Uh, I'm not gonna film each step, um, but I will uh, do a little fast forward of the process and from beginning to end. Um, so, I'm gonna get these extra roosters put up for the night so we can withhold the feed. So it's a lot easier to butcher. They don't have their crop full of food. And uh, tomorrow morning we will butcher our first animals. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it's the morning. Morning of our first butcher. Got everything set up. Uh, not excited, but I am excited for food that we've grown and we know it's healthy. Um, not gonna take a whole lot. Not gonna take a whole lot of the killing or anything. Um, just gonna show a little bit of each part. Um, and uh, let's get started. I'm up early, I wanted to get this done before it gets too warm outside. First time butchering. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right guys, I've got the first one. I've dispatched to the first one. I'm just waiting for my water to get hot enough to pluck the chicken. It needs to be between 149 and 152-ish. Uh, I'm gonna bring the chicken over here, hanging up there so it's easy to pluck. I'm not down on the ground plucking everything. So once that water gets warm, I'm gonna do one at a time, kind of go slow. Uh, since it's my first time, I don't wanna have a bunch waiting around. Um, so once that water gets hot, we're gonna start plucking this chicken. I see why people get <clears throat> a feather plucker. Uh, he's skinny. These are not meat birds. But uh, you definitely appreciate your food more when you clean it yourself and know what goes into it and how we raised healthy food with non-GMO feed. Um, we're going to continue on and eviscerate and see how this goes. show one obviously I'm not a pro by any means but uh, got some feathers to get out there we're gonna get this guy on ice and uh, we'll do the rest and then we'll come back and talk about how the day went well we finished up it was uh, definitely a learning experience I think we did okay though the longest part was the plucking. We 
did it in the future, I would definitely get a feather plucker, which is the goal. We're gonna plan on doing it 50 to 100 birds, so we have our own meat in the freezer all year long, and we can sell a few if anyone's interested in that. Um, definitely we get a scald or two. I kept running my pan back and forth to get it to the right temperature to make those feathers come out easier. Um, cool part is I've got all the insides in a bucket. I have a friend that raises dogs and they use the feet and the heads and the insides. I know it sounds gross, but super healthy for the dogs. So nothing has gone to waste. So that's a really cool part. All the feathers I took back, put them on the compost pile. So we used every part of the chicken and nothing went to waste. Um, got them right now cooling in our cooler. We're gonna let them chill for a little bit. Four chickens, they're all Welsimer roosters, which is not a meat breed. Um, so they're smaller, but it'll be a good, good meal for us. And crazy to think that a couple, three, four years ago, this was a goal of ours. And now we've got some meat in our freezer that we raised and fed healthy and had a good life, moved around on fresh grass all the time. So it was never just living in its poop its whole life. Um, was outside, not in a factory. So that's a good feeling for us. Uh, it's never easy, obviously, taking a life, but the kids were upset, and Brooklyn mostly, but Isaiah too, and they came out this morning, and before they got all the way over here, I told them, you know, what's going on, so they wouldn't be surprised. They didn't have to come see. Brooklyn came and watched me eviscerate a chicken, and she kept a feather from everyone for a memory for her, and uh, so she was, she was good with it, and I was proud of her, and Isaiah, he came and watched me on the kill cones and I told him what was about to happen and he's like, I wanna see. So when you're not around, I can do this myself. So I was, I was, that was a proud moment as a dad that maybe in the future, he's gonna wanna do the same thing and raise his own food. So cool learning experience for everybody. Nothing going to waste. Um, we're gonna let them chill and then we're gonna take them in and put them in the shrink bags. Uh, we may film some of that, but if not, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys that have subscribed. Check us out on Instagram, and we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.